everybody, welcome back to Tracy and Company. Now, if you saw the movie Baby Boom, starring Diane Keaton, and wondered um, why it didn't do better in the theaters, you probably weren't the only one. In fact, NBC wondered the same thing, and they decided, hey, why not make it a TV series? Well, recently, I had the chance to talk with the star of the series, Kate Jackson. Hi, Kate, how are you today? Good, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. You My know, pleasure. You know, everything I've ever read about you uh, says that you work, work, work 14, 17 hours a day. Uh, when are you going to slow down? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> and one I hadn't prepared for this morning. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm so I'm excited about, you know, the work that I'm doing now uh, in the, the new series. So I don't really feel like slowing down right now. I did take a year off, and I slowed down then. I spent a lot of time at my, in my place in Colorado and, you know, skied and then went hiking in the summer and took it easy. And then I decided I was ready to go back to work again. So I guess I'll slow down when I get tired, and I'm not tired yet. Well, is work fun for you? I mean, yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's a lot of fun. Now, what attracted you to this, this role of J.C. Wyatt? Well, the first thing that attracted me was the, was the involvement of Nancy Myers and Charles Shire, who wrote the movie, and he directed and she produced it. Mm -hmm. And they're involved in our, in our series. So right away, to, I think they're so creative and such good writers. And I had enjoyed the movie that um, when the series was offered to me, I thought, this is an opportunity to work with some really talented people. I, I think I'll jump at this. <laughs> It's Saturday. Now, isn't there a, a the problem? I it could be a problem of always being compared with the movie. Doesn't that make you a little bit nervous? No, not really. I mean, the movie was terrific, but it was a movie, and uh, it's the same way you know when they do a t turn a book into a movie. The book's the book, and the movie's the movie. So the movie was the movie, and our television series is our television series. And I don't. I think that they are different, and I know that because Diane Keaton and I are two different people, that our, our interpretations of the character will be different ones. But um, it doesn't make me nervous because it's there in the writing and it's just ours to have fun with. Now, uh, on the show, you get to work with two twins, actually. Baby Elizabeth uh, is play, played by two different uh, twins. I'm an identical twin, and my mother always told oh. me when I was three years old that we were absolutely, totally impossible. What's it like working <laughs> with these kids? Well, they're unlike you, Brian. They, they are not impossible. They're wonderful. Um, they're beautiful, sweet little girls, and, and they're really a lot of fun to work with. Their personalities are sort of different. One is a little more outgoing than the other. I don't know if you and your brother were... Were, had similar personalities, did you? Yeah, we were, we, my mother called us the screaming memes. <laughs> she said we were hateful. She almost left oh. home because of us. <laughs> well, the, 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 our little girls are, are, uh, are really, really not, not difficult to be around. In fact, they're, they're really quite charming. I, I love to be around them. Now, you've had a lot of successes in television, a lot of uh, successful series, and, and it all pretty much, I mean, when the public really became aware of you was with Charlie's Angels. Um, I don't know if, you, if we can go back and talk about that just for a second. I'm curious sure. about how you got that role. Was that one of those big casting calls where they call a billion people in and you had to stand in line and look no, beautiful? I I tell you what happened, when I, had, when I did The Rookies for uh, Spelling Goldberg, they had a, um, an option on me to do another series. And in the fourth year of The Rookies, I called Aaron and said, are we going to do anything with this? And he said, well, I don't know. I said, well, could I come in and talk? So we had a meeting, Aaron and Lynn and I, and we were just talking, throwing ideas around. And the Charlie's Angels idea, Lynn actually had an idea for a, um, a show with three women that were sort of like Emma Peel kind of type women, you know? and um, Aaron has on his wall an oil painting of three angels and uses a speakerphone in his office. So it kind of fell together that way. I kind of said, well, what if they work for this guy that they never see? And his name is, it started out, it was called Harry's Angels. That was changed because Harry, uh, David Jansen's show was on the air then. Mm -hmm. said, what if his name is Harry? And they're like Harry's Angels, just from things in the room. And then, you know, <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, what about the rest? Um, actually, you were let go of the show. 
I understand that you didn't totally agree with a lot of things that they wanted you to do. Well, I left after the third year because I felt that it had served me well and I had served it well and it was just time to move on. And I think it was the right decision to make. I've, I've never regretted that decision. Although I like watching reruns of the show now. Um, but, you know, then that leads to other things and leads to other things and brings me to Baby Boom today. So everything works out. Well, there's an ugly rumor going around that uh, sometimes you're difficult to work with. You want to clear that up right now? Is that true? <laughs> um, I d well, no, I, you know, I don't want to clear that up because there's nothing to clear up, really. I don't know where you read that rumor. I assume you read it in those highly intellectual newspapers that you buy <laughs> in the supermarket, which we know we can trust a lot. Um, so I just want to let the work speak for itself. And, you know, I think the long run will also speak for itself, too. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you're okay with me, Kate. Thank you very Thank much you. for being with us. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, I think I kind of threw her a little bit there with that last question. Now, if you like the movie, I'm going to tell you you're going to love the series. It's on every Wednesday night at 9.30 right here on King 5. Now, this reminder, if you want to buy any of the King 5 merchandise that I mentioned earlier, you can buy it at the Center House at the Seattle Center. Also, get a load of this, a lucky member of uh, our studio audience is going to receive a gift of these five items that I showed you following the program. So it pays to be in the studio audience. Now, we'll be back with our entertainment report in just a minute. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere.